you mentioned that that if I felt uncomfortable during a service about a preference that the mm -hmm. pastor said that I should go talk to him. Mm -hmm. So has anyone ever come to you and done that? Come to me and said, I don't, or I feel uncomfortable because you said this yeah. X, Y, or Z. Oh, that's a good question. Yes, actually. Now I think about it. Uh, cu a couple of times. Okay. Um, one, someone came up to me and said, I feel really uncomfortable that you said this. And I said, I never said that. Okay. And they were like, yeah, you did. And I said, no, I didn't. And I actually went back, listened to the sermon. Thank God for audio recordings. And and I, and I had not said what they thought I said. Hmm. And so I gave them the tape for them to listen to. So, yes, this was back when we were giving out tapes. and uh, or, maybe it was right. C, or maybe it was a CD, whatever. And I gave them that. It was a tape. It was probably a tape. <laughs> and, uh, and I gave them that to listen to so they could hear. Um, and then they came back and apologized mm. and and I think that happens sometimes when we may be touching on a topic or a subject that's very personal to somebody mm -hmm. and and they immediately jump to assuming we said something mm -hmm. or they just thought we would say something because they've heard it from a pastor before or they've heard it from other people before and in the church they assume we're going to say it too. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what kind of happened in this case. Um, and then I, the other time that I can think of was I was talking about uh, a preference so that I was like, hey, I think pref the preference for husbands and wives is they should be having sex two to three times a week. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was young and in my 20s and just recently married. I thought that was, you know, and and so someone actually did come to me and say, hey, I, I don't know if that's actually right. And I don't know if you actually should be saying that from the pulpit. And they were in their 80s. <laughs> they were in their 60s. Okay, close enough. Yeah. <laughs> and so, but it, and so that did give me this perspective. <sighs> You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> that probably was. <laughs> um, and, and so, but it, and so, yeah, so I have said, so I said that and, and and I, and I may still have preferences on those on things like but I've got a I have learned, hey, you don't need to say everything, okay. that you prefer from the pulpit, okay. and and so um, and I think someone coming to me after that and kind of calling me out on that a little bit mm. was good, it was helpful for me, and so I I that's what I'm saying. I think a lot of people probably don't have the guts to go to the pastor and say, hey. What you said to me bothered me, or I don't know if I agree with that, mm -hmm. and and I wish they would. Okay, I wish they would come and say, "Hey, I don't, I just don't ag agree with that with what you did or with what you said." 